Hello everyone, it's Heidi and welcome back to this week's episode of Baby Name Sunday. Today's list is going to be super fun. We are going to be taking a look at some sweet, cute, and unique short baby names for girls. These names are absolutely adorable as they are four letters or less long. Majority of them are four letters long, but I really love this kind of new theme of kind of nicknamey shorter names for girls. And it's one of my favorite baby names lists currently that I absolutely love. Thank you to everybody who sent in some names for today's list because holy cow, I got so many submissions, which means you guys are really looking forward to this video and make sure you guys are subscribed down below make sure you guys go check me out over my Instagram and then again as I've been saying in my previous videos if you have any questions about consultations or finding the perfect name for you definitely please email me with the email right here or you can DM me over on Instagram all right let's dive into today's list of some sweet cute and unique short baby names for girls and this baby names list that I am absolutely loving starting off the list here first off we have the name Valley, spelled V-A-L-I, Valley. Loving the spelling. This is so beautiful. It's a nature name and it's also a Norse mythology name. Next up, we have Nyx, spelled N-Y-X, or you can do N-I-X. And this is the Greek goddess of the night. Speaking of goddesses, we have Juno, spelled J-U-N-O, Juno. Now Juno was the Roman goddess of marriage and her name actually means queen of the heavens. More of a neutral style here, we have Ro, spelled R-O-W-E, Ro. This one is super sweet. It means renowned wolf or famous friend. Gorgeous name here next, actually. It's kind of new to me. It's the name Arda, spelled A-R-D-A, -A, Arda. That's a great A option there for your little girl and it means bronze. Then I have Audie, spelled O-T-T-Y, Audie, with a lot of those like Lottie, Dottie type kind of vintage names. I really love this as more modern and it means prosperous in battle. Z name on the list here, we have Zola, spelled Z-O-L-A, Zola, so dreamy. It means quiet, tranquil, and earth. Sia, spelled C-I-A, Sia, means moon goddess or women from the ancient city. Joni, spelled J-O-N-I, Joni. I don't know what's with this name, but I'm just loving it. If you have a John in the family, great honorary option as it means God is gracious. I have Elva, so E-L-V-A, Elva. This is so cool. It means leader of the elves. Then we have Iria, spelled I-R-I-A, Iria, and this one means peace. V name here, very elegant. We have Viva, spelled V-I-V-A, Viva. This one means alive, living, and life. A couple of D names here. We have Dia, spelled D-I-A. This one means love, lamp, heavenly and day. Then I also have Deja, spelled D-E-J-A, Deja. This one has always been one of my favorite girl virtue names. I'm shocked that I didn't add it on last week's video, but maybe I was saving it for this week. Hawaiian name here next, we have Inoa, spelled I-N-O-A, Inoa. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but it means name chant. Then I have Yari, spelled Y-A-R-I, Yari, and this one means gold. Gemstone name here, Opal, so O-P-A-L, Opal. This is also one of my favorite vintage name options. Obviously, it's a precious gem. Now for something fun, we have Iggy, so I-G-G-Y, Iggy. This one's so fun, it means fiery. Farah, so F-A-R-A, Farah, or it could be Farah, but it means lovely and pleasant. Lark, so L-A-R-K, Lark. A wonderful bird name, it means songbird. Next up, I know a lot of you will love the name Kova, so K-O-V. A Kova. This one's a nature name derived from the name Cove. Then for another neutral option here, how about Lane? Spell L-A-N-E, Lane. I've always loved this for a girl and it means road or pathway. Another neutral option here that I find super cute for a girl, um, she sent in the name Acre. Spell A-C-R-E, Acre. I totally agree with you. Totally would use this for a girl, and it means vast land. Next up, we have Numa, spelled N-U-M-A, Numa. It means delight. I had to add this next one in here because, I don't know, it's just something about it. I've been really loving it lately. So it's the name Day, and this one can be spelled D-A-Y, like as in day, or D-A-E, day. 
How do you guys like that one? I'm loving it for a middle name as well. E option here, we have Alaya, spelled E-L-I-A, Alaya. It means Jehovah is God. Another neutral one here, we have Toby, spelled T-O-B-Y, or it could be B-I, and it means God is good. Adding on another biblical option here, we have Asa, spelled A-S-A, -A, Asa. This one also has to be one of my favorite biblical names. It means healer, mourning, or of the gods. A great way to honor an Emily in the family, we have Emmy, spelled E-M-M-E, Emmy. I am really loving the spelling for that one, and it means universal. Next is Noe, spelled N-O-E with the accent, Noe, and it means peaceful, comfort, and rest. Another favorite here is Lumi, spelled L-U-M-I, Lumi, and this one means snow. Nola, spelled N-O-L-A, Nola, it means white shoulder. Avia, spelled A-V-I-A, Avia, means bird or God is my father. Next, very short, we have Rin, spelled R-I-N, Rin, and this one means dignified and severe. Z name, again, we have Zuza, spelled Z-U-Z-A, Zuza. This one's so fun to say, and it means Lily. A sweet little three-letter option here for you guys. I have Isa or Isa, spelled I-S-A. Could be pronounced either way, and it means strong-willed. Girly whimsical option here is Runa, spelled R-U-N-A, Runa. This one means secret lore or moon. Then I have poet, spelled P-O-E-T, poet for your little girl. It's a word name and kind of like a musical word name as well. I have the name Reese and I spelled it R-E-E-S, Reese. I know a little Reese with this spelling and she's absolutely adorable, but it means ardor. Z name here, we have Zena, spelled Z-E-N-A, Zena, means hot hospital and welcoming. A really cool and kind of timeless rising star right now is B, spelled B-E-E, -E, like a bee or a bumblebee. I think it's super sweet for a little animal name and it means she who brings happiness derived from Beatrice. Obviously, I have to add in the name Rio, spelled R-I-O, Rio. Thank you, Daniela, for sending it in. It means a river. Chelsea's always coming in hot with some Z names. So we have Zovi, spelled Z-O-V-I, Zovi. So this one has a girly kind of feel to it. Kind of reminds me of Sophia. And this one means princess life. I have Iola, spelled I-O-L-A, Iola, it means Violet Dawn. Then we have Ryan, spelled R-Y-A-N, Ryan, and this one means Little King or Little Queen. Another great Z option here that's new is Zuli, spelled Z-U-L-Y, Zuli. You could do an I on the end as well, but it means Gift of God. Next, very chic, we have Dior, spelled D-I-O-R, Dior and this one means of gold or made of gold. Another name option here, we have Avon, spelled A-V-E-N, Avon, it means beautiful and pleasant. Vivi, spelled V-I-V-Y, Vivi, means life. Amour, spelled A-M-O-R, Amour, means love. My next option here is so fun. It reminds me of Dior, Amour, it has that chicy French kind of feel. It's the name Coco, spelled C-O-C-O, -C -O, Coco, and this one is a French pet name. Short and sweet, we have Pia, spelled P-I-A, Pia. It means from Mount Olympus. Next is Mela, spelled M-E-L-A, Mela. It means a religious service. Then we have Nula, spelled N-U-L-A, Nula. This one's really sweet, it means white shoulder. A great T option here, I have Tala, spelled T-A-L-A, Tala. And this one actually is a name of many origins and it means gold, turmeric, stars, story, and noble. Couple of J options here. So I have the name Jewel, spelled J-U-E-L, Jewel. I'm really digging the spelling for that one and it obviously is derived from the word name Jewel. Then I have Joss, spelled J-O-S-S, -S, short for Jocelyn, Joss. Super cool. It means the merry one. Lenny, spelled L-E-N-I, Lenny, means brave lion. Now, another T option here I had to throw in, guys, Tizzy, spelled T-I-Z-I, Tizzy. How fun is that? It means 
highly excited. Making our way down the list here, I have the name Halo, so H-A-L-O, Halo, and this one's a word name. I also have Isla, and this one was sent in so many times, spelled I-L-A. I actually do really love this spelling. It's unique, it makes sense, um, and it also means from the island. We have Nisa, spelled N-E-S-A, Nisa. It could be Nessa as well, but it means pure. Next is Drew, spelled D-R-U, Drew. It means strong and manly or womanly. Kia, spelled K-E-A, Kia. It means white. I have Beck, spelled B-E-C-K. It means small stream. Next is Tora, spelled T-O-R-A, Tora. A little bit more cooler, but super cute. It means Thunder. I have Neva, spelled so N-E-V-A. I always imagine like Lumi and Neva because they both mean snow. I think that would make really cute like winter baby names. Then I have Gia, and this one's spelled J-I-A. Gia means God is gracious. Last six names here, I have Daya, so D-A-Y-A, Daya. How pretty is that? It means compassionate. We obviously can't go through the list without Luca, spelled L-U-C-A, Luca, means light. I have Arli, spelled A-R-L-I, Arli, means long field. K, spelled C-A-Y, K. That's a really nice kind of newcomer to me the past actually few days, and it means feminine. I have the name Iza, spelled I-Z-A, Iza. This one's really great if you're wanting an Elizabeth or Isabel alternative. It means pledge to God. We have Zia, spelled Z-E-A, Zia. It means light and splendor. Then last name on my list here, super cool but very pretty, is Vega, spelled V-E-G-A, Vega. And this one means swooping eagle, but it's also the brightest star in the constellation Lyra. So I thought all of those were super great and super fun. So I wanted to show you guys some new options to kind of bubble and mull over in your own brain. Comment down below what your guys' favorite was from the list. If you have any others or maybe some favorites. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. All right, bye.